I'm Akira Nagumo, an employee at an elite company in Tokyo. I enjoy living by myself comfortably. Oh, actually, I enjoyed it. My uncle came back here. Uncle? Are you Aoi? Yep, it's been a while. I know it's too sudden, but can you let me stay up here? She's Aoi Kiyama, my niece. She's my sister's child. I met her for the first time 16 years ago when Aoi was 4 years old. I'm not related to my sister's blood, so Aoi doesn't have a blood relation to me naturally. She liked me a lot, and I also cherish her too. But when she was 10 years old, her parents passed away while leaving her. It was a car accident. She lost her parents at the moment, but there were no people who could take care of her among her father's relatives. That's why my family decided to take her. But she doesn't have a blood relation to my family biologically. Adults among my relatives felt unfavorable to take responsibility for her, an existence that they don't have to look after. She was sent around the relatives cruelly. Eventually, her aunt took her. My aunt says that you look like an easygoing university student who can get free meals. Aoi said that she couldn't stand her aunt's relentless behavior and ran away. Finally, she drifted and arrived here. Her last chance is her. I'm sorry for her. A couple of months later... Um... Oh, it's good. Right? I have my special recipe when I mix eggs. I'm done. Eat it fast. You'll be late for your job otherwise. Hey. You should be more interested in my talks. Well, I told you that the food was good. Hmm, you're right. You're so easy to agree with it. <laughs> That's funny. If you think so, you should express your feeling more. I got used to living with her and enjoyed it. But she changed to being nonchalant and flat. She showed her feelings openly and had a more positive mind previously. It means her background made her become what she is now. When I thought about it, I was so disappointed and felt she was so pathetic. After getting done my job today, I had a remote meeting with two people on my project and had drinks through the screen. I was having a drinking party from a remote meeting. Oh, today my colleague said to me, I'm so jealous of you having the same project as Akira-san, like this. She's Warumi Miyano, my subordinate in the same company. Am I a good person who people want to work with? Yes, you're... you're so popular! While well, having terrific achievements and kindness... <laughs> You've been so good at leading people from a long time ago. Though you sometimes forget to bring something. He's Takeshi Hirokawa, my second subordinate yearning for me. But he sometimes teases me. I had something that I forgot to bring here, though they're not necessary. You remember such a tiny thing. I'm Beth. Uh. Oh, how's it going? What are you doing? Remote party? Yep, we had a meeting before. Akira-san, who is this beautiful woman? This is my niece, Aoi. She's been staying here for a while. Aoi, they're my team members. Hello, then. I'm leaving because I don't want to bother you guys. I'm going to study in my room, so enjoy your party here. Thanks. I made curry rice for your dinner. Oh, are you sure? Didn't you have a meeting? Before starting the meeting, I did. You'd be hungry if you didn't have something to eat, right? Mm, thanks. I'll have it later. I'm so surprised. The beautiful gal suddenly showed up, so... Why didn't you tell me that you live with your girl? No, that's my niece. We're not in a relationship. Well, is she your real niece? Not your girlfriend? Yeah, I've been looking after her for a complicated reason as her relative. I see. Did they live together? She's too brazen! Good morning. What's wrong? You look so busy. A meeting will start for an emergency in the afternoon, so I need to go there. Sorry, I couldn't prepare your breakfast today. I don't mind. You care about me too much. I don't even care about meals too. No, I have to be responsible for you. Hmm. Oh, it's time to go. 
See ya! Okay, did you take everything you need? You sometimes lose your mind. I'm good. You guys tease me in the way. See you! See ya! I have to be responsible for you, he said. Never mind. Uh, I screwed up. I've slept twice. But it's okay. I can arrive at the class in time. Huh? This document. I told you, uncle. Oh, you're... Huh? Aoi-san, aren't you? Akira-san's niece? Yes. Have I met you before? I was in the remote party previously, I think. Oh, sorry. I totally forgot about it. Don't worry, it happens. But perfect. You're his team member, right? My uncle left this document home. He sometimes gets something out of his mind. Would you give it to him? It seems that you guys were so close to each other. I think you don't know how much he works hard. Hmm? He barely forgets something genuinely. Though you said he does it frequently. Since he needed to be careful of some things around him, he merely got distracted. Mm. He couldn't take a rest in the house at all. Because of you. Are you conscious that you bother him a lot? I don't care if you're his relative or not. But if you think that his house is your place, that's a misunderstanding. Hmm. <laughs> That's true. I may have bothered him. I wouldn't get disappointed to go somewhere else. It would be fine. I'll manage to do it. Are you conscious that you bother him a lot? I have to be responsible for you. I'm back. Aoi, you're hungry, huh? I got sushi for dinner. Hmm? Aren't you here? Dear uncle, I'm sorry to give you this letter suddenly. I'm leaving this house. Don't worry about me. I don't want to be your problem. Thank you for letting me have stayed here. And sorry to have been here for a long time. The meals you cooked for me were all delicious. I loved it. Idiot! Uncle. <sighs> I was sent some relatives' houses before coming here, right? My parents died, and I went around relatives' houses. I thought that was inevitable, and I was just miserable. That's inevitable. To be patient was too hard. So I had been just accepting everything optimistically, and living. Mm. Therefore, I realized that I hadn't had any place for me since my parents died. You welcomed me here first, but you felt that it was an obligation, didn't you? I know, so... Don't make blind assumptions. When did I tell you that I let you stay here as an obligation? I got disappointed too, conversely. I didn't want you to think of it. I thought you would have been trusting me and open to me. Trust. I trust you. I open my heart to you. But at the same time, I can think that since we're not related to each other in terms of blood, and other relatives cut me off for the reason of blood relation, you may do the same thing as others. I'm not others, but your family. It's not essential if there is a blood relation. I'm your uncle and you're my niece. We're a family, all right? I, your family member, say that you're good to live there together. Then, that house is your place. Are you sure? Can I stay there? Absolutely. Let's go home. Yeah. Once we got home, I listened to her for the detail. The reason why she ran away was a conversation with Warumi. On the next day, I tried to ask Warumi for it. It seemed that some co-workers saw her hostile behavior toward Aoi. The rumor has prevailed in the company. She went home before I asked her for the detail. Akira-san, you are more popular than you think of yourself because you got some achievements on the job and are a little bit handsome. That's why she got overexcited to be in the project with you. The attitude was infamous among other workers. Remove a little from handsome. Warumi's dark personality was revealed at this time. She resigned from this company due to awkwardness. By a relative's cruel words, Aoi lost her place. On the other hand, Warumi lost her workplace with harsh words. 
That's so ironic though. What goes around comes around. I'm home. Hey. Oh, it looks so fancy today. What happened? I just wanted to try cooking by myself. It's just a diversion. Uh-huh. I'll pick some. It's good actually. Not as well as yours though. But it's just a matter of time. Is it? How long would it be? Well, in 10 years? What? It's such a long journey. That's funny though. <laughs>